You do still regularly speak to the president, don't you? When was the last time you spoke to him? I spoke probably about months ago. Right. Because he's traveling a lot. So when I want to call, I have to go via White House secretary. Then it goes into the over office. Sometimes he's in meetings. Sometimes you cannot be interrupted. You know, I, I get him in the private quarters, but it gets tricky because, uh, you know, his wife, now wife, is there, and I don't want to confuse anybody and I don't want to cause any troubles. So, but we speak to each other. Does it cause trouble then, do you think, uh, when you call him? Well, if it would be me in Melania place, I would not really like mm. that my the, the ex wife is calling. My, my husband, I don't know. Well, I you really have three don't children know. I'm together. just very sensitive, so I... Yeah, you, you have know, three I... children together. It would be perfectly reasonable for you to still have conversations when you have uh, children you and grandchildren yeah. in common. Yeah, but are you calling him about personal things, or is it to yeah. offer him we political about, advice? We talk about the kids, we're talking about holidays, you know, the, uh, vacations and... Uh, and the birthdays and this kind of things. We hey, really Bono, do don't talk about you, politics. You know him as well as anybody. A, can you believe he's president? Mm -hmm. And secondly, do you think he's enjoying being president? Well, do I be believe that he's, uh, he's president? I really knew when he said he's going to run. When Donald said something, mine on something, he's going to do it. Mm. And uh, was I shocked that he won? Yes, everybody were. And now uh, everybody were, but America voted mm. and he's our president. And, uh, and uh, uh, you like it or leave it, you know... Does he, he like it? Is he enjoying being president? Uh, I think he loves to deal and wheel. Mm. You know, he likes to make decisions. He likes to read the contracts. He likes to... He runs the country as a business. And this is how it should be run. Lots of stuff at the moment about Donald being a racist. Mm. Inflammatory remarks that he's said. And there's been a lot of this in the last two years. I've known him a long time. And in all the time I knew him, I never heard anything from him that I could ever construe as being racist. Some of his comments in recent weeks, particularly at the weekend, they're, they're borderline racist, divine. Whichever way you look at it, they, they're inflammatory and they're unpleasant. Is he a racist in your experience? I don't think Donald's racist at all. You know, sometimes he says the things, you know, which are silly or he doesn't really mean them or something like that, but he's definitely not, not racist. I'm sure of that. Why does he say them then? Who knows? You know, he has so many people telling him left and right what to say and what to not to say and things like that. And sometimes maybe it gets confusing. I honestly don't know. Do you try, when you speak to him, do you try and dial him down a bit? I mean, he tweets and outrages people and so on. Some people like them. I quite like the, the, the glimpse into the mind of the president in real time. I think it's exciting and unpredictable. Other people hate it. You know, do you think he'll ever change? He's in his 70s now. He's not going to change. And I think the tweeting... It's actually not a bad idea because the press, you speak to the press and press change every word you say mm. and, and they twist it and all that. And whatever is said, it comes totally different way. If he tweets, it's out of his mouth. And sometimes it might not be clear, and it, but at least it is exactly what he thinks. He's, he's so polarising that, you know, depending, in, even in America, if you go to New York and Los Angeles, they really don't like him, and many people. If you go down to the middle of America, they love him. In Britain, I think there are people that like Trump, but many people hate Donald Trump mm -hmm. to the extent where he doesn't feel he can even come here. Yeah. What do you feel about that? Well, I think I'm only the Trump, which is like... <laughs> You're the only one who let in. in the, <laughs> let in, which is in the, in the UK. I love the UK. Mm -hmm. I love London. I had a house in here for 28 years and uh, I have a lot of friends, so I'm very welcome. I was Do you feel sad that he has such a reputation now that people here don't want him to come? You know what, I really don't have uh, any input in it or I don't really think about it, you know. If he I mean, doesn't his mother want to was Scottish. To do, his mother lived... was Scottish. So he's got, he's he got loved, British blood, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. He has a British blood. His mother was fantastic. And uh, so I will see what happens. The other accusation um, that sort of keeps getting headlines about him is that he is sexist and that his treatment of women is, is not terribly good. We saw the Women's March, of course, you know, sort of days, weeks after he, his, you know, he became president. Uh, we heard the comments that he made uh, on those tapes which were leaked uh, about how he feels about women. You were married to him. Mm -hmm. um, how... Does he treat women and how did he treat you? Because 
that ended in a rather unsavory way, didn't it? Well, he treated me fantastic. I never had a problem. Don was always polite, always outspoken, Despite always the details providing. Despite that emerged after your divorce? After my divorce, yeah. See, during the divorce, it was nasty because the lawyers were involved. In a minute, when the divorce was finalized, our financial agreement was done, we became, we are friends, mm -hmm. you know. We were together for 16 years. Did he ever and treat you badly in the marriage? Never, never. You yes. know, I was, I was his partner. You know, I was a, I was very successful businesswoman. You know, I built the, the, uh, the uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel. I built the Trump Tower. I was flying for eight years to Atlantic City, to, in the morning at eight o'clock on helicopter, coming back at five o'clock afternoon, running the casinos. Then I ran the Plaza Hotel. I was a boss. And so when uh, lawyers in the course of the divorce talked about the way that he treated you badly, was that not the case? No, it was the lawyer's, lawyer, lawyer's stuff. It was not. Donna never touched me. I mean, badly. Never really. We never screamed. There was no, even during the divorce, there was no screaming, slamming the doors, nothing. It was just, you know, question of the money. And Donna took the divorce as a business. So once that one was out of the way, we were 100% okay again.